morning everybody. Today's uh, project we're going to construct this canopy from basically nothing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make the frames, how to measure the fitment, how we get it in place and get it to fit perfectly. Stay with me. A few weeks ago I cut out the uh, canopy uh, windows if you will to leave the framing. I've uh, added the glass, which was to test some new adhesive that we got. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video of that. However, what we need to do first is put the canopy back in the mold, so we get basically a fixed dimension. And then we may need to make these little spreader bars. You can see three of them there, which I'm uh, about to start gluing in. And uh, this is so that I can take it out of the mold, carry it over to the fuselage, place it, and then work from there. Once we got the spreader bars in, we can remove it from the, uh, the mold and we carry it over to the fuselage and place it into position. What I'm doing right now is trying to get basically the base of the canopy perfectly fitting into the base of the canopy cavity in the fuselage so that I can uh, make a template and I can either do it digitally, i.e. do it in CAD, create a 3D model, laser cut it, etc. Or I can do it by hand by using uh, cardstock and drawing over some plywood, then hand cutting it on a bandsaw. Right now you can see that I'm placing it into the uh, cavity where the canopy is on the fuselage. And I'm adjusting it to just try and get that absolute perfect fit. If, uh, if the canopy is, let's say, a little too wide at the rear, then what I can do is undo the tape of the spreader bar, close it in a little bit, retape it, and keep fitting it until I get it absolutely perfect. Once I have the correct fitment with the uh, canopy base, I can now move it over to a piece of uh, cardstock or paper, whichever you have, draw the uh, outline of the base of the canopy, and this will give me an exact fitment that I can cut out either by bandsaw from, you know, just uh, using the template. Or I can take the template, scan it into the computer, do it in CAD, generate a 3D model from it, laser cut it or CNC cut it. The choice is yours based on the equipment you have. Before you cut the canopy base out, you need to adjust for the thickness of the bottom of the canopy. That's the thickness of the composite material in this case. Uh, uh, it might also include the glass thickness, depending on how you've mounted the glass. But uh, I've already adjusted for this, as you can see in the uh, video, that there's a, a gap between the edge of the fuselage and the beginning of the canopy base. I've also put an angled uh, taper on this to allow for the angle of the canopy so I get a perfect fitment. If you don't compensate for these things, you could have a problem where your just canopy will not fit because of square corners and so forth. Before I can install the uh, base frame, uh, you've got to look at the uh, canopy framing itself where the glass is. If you look between the uh, center frame here and the glass, you can see all this glob of whitish glue. Now this glue is supposed to be clear uh, and obviously it isn't, so something has to be done about that before we assemble the canopy because we're not going to be able to do it later. So what I'm going to do is mask off the inside of the glass and actually uh, sand and paint it so that it looks good when we finally assemble this thing. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So the best way I think to mask this is to keep it stable. This thing is wobbling all over the place when you're trying to work on it. So what I'm gonna do is just drop it back into the mold that we made it from. So everything should fit perfect. It will lock in place and then we can look at masking it. So now I've got the majority of the canopy mass and I just have to trim where the uh, framing is round in the corners. And I just can't see uh, how to trim it because of the masking tape. All right, here's a uh, trick that I use these lights that I've been telling you about. Is they're so bright that in this case I can't see uh, the curvature in this window frame. But with this light behind it, I can see it perfectly. 
which allows me to trace it out with the knife, cut it out, and it looks good. All right, now I had uh, finished the masking, I've sprayed the uh, inner frame, it's all cured, and I'm taking the paper off and now fitting it back on the fuse to make sure everything looks good. I'm quite happy with the way uh, the inner frames look. Uh, you can't see any of the glue. It looks reasonably clean. And this is just a prototype canopy, so I'm not too concerned about it. We will be doing a new one. I use the same procedure as I did for the base of the canopy to do the front and the rear frame. These are the stiffeners which will be glued to the canopy base frame and it will make a really uh, stiff unit which is uh, pretty rugged. So now I'm just doing the uh, fit and finish of the, both of these frames just to get them exactly the way I want them. And I'm using my light uh, to look inside. This will show me any gaps. Uh, if the light shows through, then obviously you've got a gap. Before I do the final fitment of the canopy, I wanna put a uh, bridge across the uh, fuse large opening there underneath the canopy, just to stiffen everything up uh, so there's no wallowing when you're pulling high Gs and so forth. So well, let's get to it. Now I want to make a bridge across the fuselage, just in this area, which fits right under this thing here. To get the inside depth, I've got two uh, tongue suppressors or depressors, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I'm not a doctor. And I'm just going to expand them like that. Put a piece of tape around. That will give me my inside measurement. With just a little bit of clay, which is what I want. And now I can go laser cut those. I've just uh, finished laser cutting the uh, cross brace, which is this guy here. And that just goes under the uh, fuselage lip here. And that's so that this is more stable because right now you know i'm building this at about 60 degrees or thereabouts in my shop and once i get out in the summer it's going to be upwards of anywhere from 80 to 110 degrees usually where i fly so you know stuff can get soft uh well not soft but you know it gets a little more pliable Using foam glue and uh, electronic alligator clips to uh, hold everything in place. And that's another tip. These work great for clamping parts. I'll just pull it this way a fraction, lining it up visually just with the uh, lower servo tray so that everything looks smart. There's basically four parts to this. There's the uh, front frame, the uh, rear frame, which I primed yesterday, so they're nice and cured. Then we have the uh, base, which goes on here like this. And then obviously we have the canopy. So what we're going to do first is fit the canopy in place, like so. There we go. And again, this isn't the uh, final canopy. This is just for uh, design and test purposes and give you guys an idea of what needs to be done. And then once our vacuum former is upgraded to a bigger one, which is three quarters done, we shall uh, use some heavier plastic and make a much better uh, frame. There we go, let's get this down. There we go. I'm just taping it down right now because I want it. There we go. It's got to be in a perfect position. So I'm going to lift the front of the cowl doors up so I can get in there and just move this guy around. There we go. That's it. Push down. 
because this is going to be the final position. And as I'm building this model, you'll see that there's, you know, little divots and voids and what have you in the fuselage as it comes out of the mold. Don't worry about that. That can easily be taken care of and we'll fix it all up. It's not bad workmanship. It's just this is the on, only the second fuselage that we've done. And uh, it's going to take a little bit of working out just to get the best layout technique, which I believe I found now. And the next plane, which we'll do reasonably soon, will be uh, vacuum banked, the whole thing. Let's just get this up. This is the hinge side where the canopy gets hinged. So I want to make sure everything is aligned up. Okay, now this is going to be a bit of a struggle to get all these uh, frames in because I'm going to put them in situ and glue them. Well, I'm first going to just tack glue them and then uh, we'll glue them permanently once we pull the canopy off. Now we'll get these into position. Just set the lip there. Make sure these are in. Do a test push. Everything's good. Make sure we've got a good fit. I've now fitted the uh, front and rear frames in place on the base exactly where I want them. So now I'm going to just spot glue the lower portion of the frames to the main canopy base and that will allow me to lift out the uh, entire uh, canopy supports in their entirety holding them in place ready to put the glass on. All right, been able to tack these guys on. So what I'm going to do is tack the backs now to give them some strength. Where I'd uh, put the glue, I uh, just hit it with a bit of primer uh, to basically disguise it. And I'm just using the heat gun to uh, cure it a little faster so I can get this job done. Everything's back in place and uh, taped into the uh, finished position. This is the final uh, placement of the canopy. So I'm just going to tack the, uh, the canopy frame to the canopy base now and the uh, front and end frames to make sure I've got a nice rigid and well positioned uh, fitment. Right, everything is now tacked together and it's time to just test the uh, final fitment before we do the final glue up. So uh, I'm just testing like where the hinge position would be just to make sure everything's fairly smooth and fitting okay. Seems to uh, appear that it does. So uh, now uh, I'll get it prepped to glue it final. All right, it's shugu time. I've loaded up my syringe with some shugu and just priming it and now all i have to do is go around these front edges where it's all going to be hidden with the front and rear uh, frames glued in with the shugu with a really good strong front flange on the uh, external parts there i uh, will move on and get it down the uh, side of the frames um, finishing this thing up this projects uh, complete now except to install the hinges which I'll do in another video when I do all the uh, fuselage detail installations such as radar domes and GPS things and strakes and all kinds of other good stuff. Now that most of the fuselage is pretty much complete for the main structures we'll uh, be doing the next uh, series of 
films will be done on how to build a composite scale wing from a 3D print all the way through to the mold making, the uh, fabrication of the internal frames, landing gear, landing gear doors, speed brakes, ailerons, flaps, etc. It's going to be a pretty comprehensive uh, mold making video from how to make the plug, add the uh, details such as rivet screws and so forth, and uh, pretty much just uh, finishing this plane up. And I uh, hope you will join me and subscribe and uh, hit the like button, which would really help the channel get more uh, hits. And uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm, I'm willing to uh, try and do the best I can for you. So thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it and see you next week.